in game user interfaces you usually come across uh, screens where you know you can uh, click on a, a thumbnail button and uh, you, uh, you, you get uh, ability to change characters or change outfits uh, so like what you're seeing here in this uh, Fortnite uh, user interface so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create this a simple user interface uh, where you have three buttons and when you click on uh, the button uh, an associated shape will appear dynamically appear on the screen so if I click on the box uh, a box appears if I click on the cylinder cylinder appears if I click on the donut donut appears and you can click it in any sequence and uh, the associated uh, shape will appear now this is a simple UI uh, you can expand this and uh, uh, import uh, GLTF models so in the future I'll probably do a more advanced uh, uh, video on the, on you know uh, importing GLTF models uh, like the one that you see in the Fortnite you know uh, characters and things like that in this video we're going to be using a basic ReactJS and React3 fiber setup and I'm going to be introducing you to a primitive placeholder it's a sort of a, uh, a, a helper component that you can use in uh, which is a react 3 fiber thing that you can use to create objects dynamically uh, so it's, it's quite powerful and you know once you sort of uh, get to know all the other features but we're just going to use it for basic uh, uh, creating um, uh, geometry shapes okay and we're going to also be using object literals to store 3d shape details and learn how to store the 3d shape details in state variable and then you can interactively uh, change it uh, as you click on the buttons so if you like tutorials like this uh, please subscribe to my channel and let's get started i'm in vs code and i've already set up a basic app uh, using create react app as you can see i've cleaned up all, all the unnecessary files and now all i've got is app.css app.js index.css and index.js okay so in the app.css i've got some styling for button okay so it's just the basic styling for uh buttons that we're going to be using in uh in a in, in our sort of basic ui uh so it's got some styling for the button and we've got a, a container for for the buttons which is uh flex uh flex layout uh with you know, just for content center okay so going back to the app.js in the app.js uh, i've got a, a basic setup for a, a, a displaying a cube uh, i've got it running already uh, so this is what it's uh, what the code is doing so i just go for the code now so the app.js uh, at the start i've got um, uh, you know i'm importing the app.css and from the React, I'm using useRef um, uh, hook and a use state hook. Okay, and I've already installed React 3 Fiber. So if you don't know how to install React 3 Fiber, it's, it's uh, npm install and it's uh, 3 space at uh, React uh, 3 hyphen 3 slash and it's Fiber. Okay, so I've already run this. So you need to run this as well. Okay, so uh, so I'm going back to this app. So I've, I've got um, uh, in in the app uh, main part of the app app function. I've got uh, a canvas set up. Okay, within the canvas, I've got a two light sources and a box component. So uh, in 3D uh, in 3JS, you know, uh, this is sort of the most basic uh, uh, setup uh, for uh, you know when you start. So and we we we're just displaying a cube at the moment. So uh, so this this light uh, setting is it's just got some uh, basic uh, intensity setup for zero point five, and some position and an angle. Okay. So um, and and for the box component, if I go up, and this will contain uh, the the mesh, and the geometry and the material. Okay. So and so at the at the top we've got the constant uh, mesh. Uh, which is a uh, we're declaring with a use ref so which this is what we use to control uh, the the 3d uh, object so our 3d object is in the mesh and as you can see here uh, we've got a ref to the to mesh okay and we've got some scale for you know we, we, can, we can increase this to four 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 okay now if I go to the, so it's increased it so 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 we just got some we can change that to what it was okay so so it's just uh, so you can put the scale there so then we got a box geometry 
uh, box buffer geometry. So this defines uh, uh, the skeleton structure of our cube and uh, the mesh standard material. So this is what gives it sort of the solidity look and uh, the 3D look and it, and and this is this allows us to uh, put color colors on it as well. Okay, so this is a basic uh, setup for a 3D shape. Now let's look at the box buffer geometry. Now this is the the actual skeleton structure of our um, uh, our shape. Okay, uh, as you can see, you've got the name there. Uh, so there, there's a uh, associate component for each type of shape. So this one's a box buffer geometry, and uh, the arcs is the actual um, uh, the, uh, the the size of it, the dimension. So it'll be like width, height, and depth. Okay, so. We wanted a different shape. Uh, we can go to the three side, and there are like different shapes there. Now, notice that uh, uh, they got these. Uh, this is the API for the different shapes. Now, even though this is a JavaScript, uh, uh, we can uh, adopt this for React uh, quite easily. Okay, so we got the box geometry, but we we're calling it uh, box buffer geometry. Okay, so uh, we we can leave out the buffer part, or uh, well, we can include it. It just means there's two ways of declaring in these uh, shapes. Uh, uh, without a buffer, just means it, it's uh, optimized for performance. So uh, I think they're trying to uh, uh, get everyone to use the buffer uh, uh, way of uh, declaring the the shapes. Okay, so. So these are the shapes. So if we wanted the cone and geometry, now if I, if I click on cone geometry, okay, so it's got the API there. So it's got like the, the dimensions. So if, you, if I look at the detail of the dimensions, it's radius, height, and uh, a radial segments. So segments means the, the number of shapes. I mean, number of sides. So if I sort of re, if I increase that, it becomes more, uh, what do you call it? Uh, there's more segments and it becomes smoother. Okay, so. So, uh, so if, if if so, if we wanted to use a cone, we just gotta replace that with uh, the word cone. So, if I go back to the code, so I just say cone, okay, and I just make the segments ten or something and save, and then uh, go to our uh, browser, okay. So, so we we got a cone now. So you can you can play around with different shapes. And just make sure you get the numbers right because uh, sometimes the numbers can be a bit uh, uh, you, you get unexpected uh, uh, sizes and things like they might disappear and things okay so uh, so you can try different shapes there okay so going back so um, so I'm going to change this back to what it was box and I'll change that to one and save it okay then just do a refresh. Okay, I think I've got the numbers wrong there. So it's just one. Okay, so so it's back to normal. Okay, so so you can change the shape uh, uh, with you know replacing with a different uh, component for that shape. Okay, so just change the name. Now, alternatively, we can also uh, use a uh, element called primitive. So primitive. Okay, and uh, this this will have uh, uh, some properties called object, which is, and also uh, and it's got an attach property as well. Okay, and so this this is another way of um, uh, creating shapes. Okay, so using the primitive uh, element. Okay, so so this is. Uh, The primitive element is quite powerful. Uh, we can attach many things uh, onto our uh, mesh, uh, and not not just uh, the geometry. Uh, you can attach material or or, or construct uh, different uh, complicated shapes uh, and materials and lights and things, and you can attach it. But for this example, we are just going to be concerned with the the shapes, the geometry shapes. Okay, so the way to do it is we're going to create a new shape in the object part and then we're going to attach it as geometry so uh, the attached part will be geometry okay 
geometry. Okay, then in the object part, uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna create a new um, uh, box shape object on the fly, and there's a special way of doing this. Now, if I go to the three uh, site and uh, and it tells you, you know, we're looking at the geometries here, and we're looking at the box geometry, and and the way to create the, the geometry for a box is this way you're using the, the new keyword and say in three dot box geometry and uh, it will uh, add these arguments which is the dimensions okay so this is a different way of uh, uh, it's another way of uh, creating uh, shapes okay so I'm just going to copy this part and go to the shape I mean go to our, our, our app dot js and in the object I'm just going to paste that in there so it's going to create a new box geometry, and you can you can um, uh, you can also use the buffer, but we're not using that buffer. Okay, so uh, so if I say that and go to the browser, go to the okay, so it's it's created the the cube using the primitive uh, keyword. Okay, so let's close this. Okay, so so that's uh, that's how you use. Uh, uh, primitive uh, element or placeholder uh, to create uh, objects, uh, shape objects. Now the the uh, the, uh, the reason why I've uh, uh, we're using this here is that uh, for us to uh, create uh, uh, shapes on the fly or dynamically. Uh, we can just pass uh, props and then uh, ch just change that uh, uh, the object um, uh, reference there. Okay, so that's why we're using the primitive. And that's why it's quite powerful. So that's what we're gonna uh, try and achieve here. Now we can uh, put this into a constant, and so at the top I can say uh, constant and say shape equals, and uh, we can just say this copy that and and then refer to it as shape okay so and it still works okay so <clears throat> now to make this component uh, uh, dynamic in the sense that you know we can we can use uh, this uh, this component to create many shapes uh, we can store this into an object and we can store the different shapes into an object Okay, so I'm just going to change the name to this now. I'm not going to call it box. I'm going to call it shape because it's going to it's going to be um, it's going to be used to create many different types of shape. Okay, so I'm just going to the app uh, function and then change the box to a shape there. And I change the function name to a shape there. Okay, just make sure it's working. Okay, so it's working. Okay, so that's all I've done there. All right, so now I, I can put this into a uh, object. So it will be a constant, and I'll call it all shapes equals, and we're going to have, it's going to be an object literal. So we're going to have like a, a box colon, uh, uh, the shape, okay, this is the shape, a comma, uh, <coughs> And we're gonna have like a cylinder, cylinder, cylinder shape, and that'll be shape two, comma. Uh, uh, then we can also have a, a a donut shape, donut shape, and shape, shape three. So this is uh, this is uh, a, a, an object literal. Okay, so we can replace this. So the box we can replace it with this. Okay, and that and still be uh, uh, legal to do. Okay, so you can so we can re uh, we can uh, represent the key value box with uh, with our shape. Okay, so for cylinder. Okay, let me go back to the. Oops, so we've got an error. So it's normal. We're changing it. So, so if we want to use cylinder, uh, we can we can create we can copy that geometry and store it in our object. Okay. 
and the donut shape is the torus. I think it's the torus. Torus geometry. Torus geometry. So this is the donut. Okay. So we can we can also copy that geometry for that and store it in our. Uh, okay. So so now we got it. So I'm gonna delete that uh, shape. Don't need that. We will replace it with an object. Now we can use this as a reference to what shape we want. Okay, so if we want the box, we just say in the primitive object, we just change that to all shapes and it's uh, square brackets, square brackets, and quotes, and we say box. Okay, so this will reference this now. Okay, so if I save that, go to our app. All shapes are not defined, I think. All shapes. So all shapes. So it's a capital S. Okay, it's camel case. Okay, that's what it was. So if I save that. Okay, so now we got a we got a cube there. Now if we want to uh, have a cylinder, I think this number's not that right. Okay, I'll just change it. So I'll leave it there at the moment. So um so if we want cylinder, we just change that reference key value to Cylinder again, okay, save that. I think the value is not uh, correct, so this cylinder is uh, make that one, comma, one, ah, uh, comma, one, comma, oops, comma, one, comma, thirty two. Let's see if that works. Okay, so we got a cylinder now, okay, so. So as you can see, I, I've changed the numbers in it, and, and you can see it because sometimes, uh, you know, when the numbers are too large, uh, it sort of goes off screen, and uh, so you got to fiddle around with the numbers. Okay, so the donut, I think this we need to change that to a smaller number, zero point five, and zero, zero point two, and three, and make that twenty. Okay. So yeah, so I, I fitted around this number. That's why I, I sort of know. So so uh, for the donut, we just change that on the object part as or, or the, the key value to donut. Donut. Okay. So now we got a donut. So now we can dynamically change that. Uh, we we can pass uh, uh, pass props, and uh, we can change that value. So, <clears throat> so just to recap, what we've done here is uh, we changed the function name to shape for, before it was called uh, box. Okay, then we sort of modified it so that it's capable of uh, dynamically creating uh, different shapes. So that's what you know, we we created the, an object uh, literal. Uh, that uh, has a key value, and each each value would sort of uh, represent a different shape. So we've got box, cylinder, and donut, and the associated uh, uh, three uh, object uh, uh, shape objects that you know uh, you can create uh, uh, new shapes with. So that's that that's how we, we've uh, stored uh, our um, our shapes, different shapes, and then you can just refer that on the primitive uh, placeholder under the objects, and you can refer it. Uh, you know, uh, with a key value. Okay, so um, so next, uh, we'll, uh, next part is we, we're going to add a uh, uh, some code for uh, displaying buttons because we, we're going to have like different buttons for different shapes. So when you click on the button for box, it will create a box shape, and if it's a cylinder, then it will create a cylinder shape, etc. Okay, so we're going to have a in the in the app uh, JSX part. I'm going to put in a wrapper div wrapper. Okay, and just wrap it around the canvas, and then in oops, got extra there. Okay, so and just after the canvas, I'm gonna have another container, a div container, and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be class name equals to uh, I'm gonna call it buttons with an S. 
Okay, and then uh, within there we're going to have a button, and uh, we we we're going to use a we're going to use a, we could just call it box for now, uh, and we're going to have an attribute. We're going to use the data attribute, and we're going to call it a shape, and which is equal to uh, we're just going to say box for now. Okay. So basically, we, we, we what we're planning to do here is that we're going to store for each uh, shape, we're going to have a button associated with it. And in the data shape, we're going to store the name of the shape. And then we write a, a, a event handler, a click handler. Uh, so we're going to use that value uh, in the click handler uh, to update the state. Then we render it out in the rendering part. Okay, so we still need to do some, some work here. Okay, so if I look at the browser now, okay, so uh, we've got the button there. Okay, and if we go back, uh, remember we, we had the styling for the button in the CSS. So if we're going to app.css, remember we, we had the styling there, so that's why it's it's come out as that, uh, that particular style. Okay, so going back to app.js, okay, so when we click on that button, we need to store, um, uh, you know, the shape that we need to render in a state variable. Okay, so uh, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to add a state to this now. We're going to store it in a state. So uh, so we, we're going to have a constant, and it's going to be uh, it's going to be called shapes on canvas. Okay, and so we're going to have also a set set shapes shapes on on canvas. And then that is going to be equal to, uh, and it's going to be an array. It's going to be a use state, and we're going to initialize it with an empty array. Okay, and then uh, then we're gonna store uh, you know the the particular uh, data for that for the particular shape, and then we're gonna render it uh, in the in the canvas. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it uh, the less cold way. So we're gonna store the the whole of the JSX for the shape in our state, and then we're gonna render it. And the way to do that is so we, we so we, we we just do something like uh, in the JSX we we say uh, we do a spread the day dot 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 and we say shapes on canvas okay so um, so th this will render the JSX so if so if I save this and just go to the browser okay so we've got nothing there at the moment okay so if I initialize this with uh, we're going to create a shape using the shape component. So we're going to say uh, shape, and oops, and the shape will have a shape a, a property, which is equal to uh, we say a inverted commas box. Right, and this is a closing tag. Okay, so we're going to initialize it with this, and then this should render a box. Hmm. Okay, so what's happened is that we, so if we go back to the shape, we sort of hard coded that in there. So what we what we're gonna do is uh, so we're passing the shape attribute so it will be, it'll be available in the props so what we need to do here is we need to just say props <coughs> dot shape okay so this this will so it's got a cube so if I change the value here to a cylinder and so it's a cylinder so what we've done is we've set the initial state as this JSX and then we're rendering it out here okay so we we can sort of you know create two shapes or something like that 
and then I think we're gonna give it a position as well you use position equals to and something like uh, square brackets and it'll be um, 3 comma 0 comma 0 so there'll be two shapes Oops. there's a comma there okay so so I've got two shapes there okay so so I'm just trying to highlight that you know uh, we, you know th this is an object uh, um, and I've got a comma there and I've got another object so so it's, it's, uh, it's rendering two shapes if I, so if I say box so it's got a cylinder and a box okay so we're gonna store it so I'm just demonstrating how it's gonna be stored so we're gonna store it in the state as JSX and then we're rendering it out on the on the, in this part here okay so uh, so that's what we're trying to achieve here so uh, so this is sort of wired up to um, uh, to deal with that now so I so I just want to point out um, uh, earlier that I, I, I changed a uh, property on the on the uh, primitive element or placeholder okay so under the the object uh, property uh, the the key value was uh, we were ref uh, re referencing it with a, a string saying box like this so uh, so we, we were referenced the key value and we're just keying it in here so now we're gonna we're passing it through the props so we just uh, do props dot shape so in our uh, shape um, uh, uh, element we're gonna we're gonna have a shape uh, property and then we and depending on what button you click on uh, you know it'll be shape it'll be box cylinder or donut okay so so just in case that you missed that I'm um, just highlighting that so uh, so you need to change that to prop star shape okay for for us to pass values from the the button okay so in the button we're gonna have a uh, a, a click handler okay so it's gonna be on click Oops, on click equals and we're gonna say add shape okay so so the add shape would so what it's gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna uh, do three things so first first I'm gonna create the the handler okay add shape equals and it's, it's an arrow function and and we're gonna uh, access the element okay and within this uh, function we're gonna have three th we're gonna do three things here okay uh, so, so I'm just gonna paste something here okay so the word, okay so so first uh, well we're gonna do three things here all right first we're gonna store the length of the shape on canvas the state uh, so we're, we're gonna count how many uh, objects there are uh, then uh, we're also going to use this to calculate the position uh, so 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 that's why we're going to access that okay so then we're also going to access the button data attribute so if i go back to the button here so i added so for each button you'll have a, a a shape data shape attribute okay and we set it to box it in the donut uh, depending on what the shape is so we're going to access that as well and then we're going to push a new shape element onto the shape on canvas state so we're going to do a set state basically there so to get the length uh we, we say constant okay shape count equals to uh, we're going to say shapes on canvas dot length okay so and then if to access the button data attribute uh we're going to say constant uh, we're gonna say shape equals e dot target, and then uh, it's gonna be dot get get attribute. And it's gonna be uh, inverted commas and data shape okay so that will access the uh, 
the data attribute for the button as you see here and there okay so uh so now we need to push the state the shape element so we know what shape we 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 need to add from this so we need to put we need to create a jsx element and push it onto our shapes on canvas so we can quickly test this out uh, do a console.log log and we're gonna do this display the shape this is if we go in the browser to inspect so when i click on the button it should display box yeah so it's displaying the box uh, you know, depending on how many times we're clicking so it's saying nine times so far so you can see so that's uh, that's uh, so so the click handle is working so now we now we're gonna concentrate on this pushing a new shape element onto the shape canvas so we know what shape we need to create okay so uh like I said earlier, we're going to be pushing the, the JSX element for the shape onto the state. Okay, so we're going to say set uh, shapes on canvas, and and that's going to we're going to have a an array. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a, a new array from uh, the old state. So uh, the the way to do that is we do a spread dot 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 and we say um, shapes on canvas okay so so th this this will uh, uh, destructure you know shape canvas shapes on canvas so if there's uh, five elements or there already so it will destructure it and so we can create a new one so for the new one we just do a comma and when then we do shape and uh, now we need to also put in for, for the shape we need to put in uh, shape equals and uh, so it's going to be shape so that's what uh, you know we, what we read from the data shape so we're passing that through so shape equals shape and then we say we because we uh, because we're creating multiple shapes uh, we also need to identify each shape with a key value as well uh, it's a JSX thing, uh, React thing. Okay, so say key equals, and we're gonna use the uh, the shape count as the key because uh, uh, that that'll be sort of unique for this uh, uh, for this demo. Uh, we don't, so we're just gonna say shape count. Okay, so if I save this and go to the browser, okay, just do a refresh, and I click on the box button. Okay, so if I click on it again. So what's happening is it's putting uh, uh, boxes. So I do a refresh. So from the beginning, uh, it puts one box. If I click it again, it's put another box in the same place because it's spinning around uh, with a different speed. Uh, you know, it, we, we can sort of see it. So if I keep adding, it will keep adding it in the same place. So we need to um, do something with the position so that it, uh, uh, it displays it in sort of, you know, side by side. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do next. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to just make some space here. Okay, then uh, just make some space here, and then uh, we're going to add position to this as well. Position, position, and is equals to, and it, this is usually an array, or well, it is an array, and the default is zero comma zero comma zero. Okay, that's the position at the moment. Okay, so. We we're gonna we're gonna uh, display in different x positions. So we're gonna start from like uh, so we're gonna calculate the value for the x. Okay, so, so we're gonna leave this at zero zero zero. Okay, so the value for the x we're gonna say uh, we're gonna start with minus ten, and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna say plus, and we're gonna go, we're gonna have uh, open close brackets. And we're going to say shape count. We're going to do a calculation on the shape count. So it's going to be shape count, shape count times three. And so let's just see what that. Save. 
I'll do a refresh. Okay, so add it there. So, so now it's adding it side by side. Okay, so it will go on. So let's do it again. Okay, so we're gonna add more space if Dave, we want, but we just leave it like that. So it's adding uh, boxes now. So this box button works and it adds boxes. So that's nice to know. So we know that uh, this button works and uh, it, it will uh, create a box shape when you click on it. So we can replicate this, but we can just change the data attribute and the, the name. Okay, so uh, we're adding a box. So we, so we add a cylinder. So a cylinder. So as you, uh, uh, when we go back to the shape uh, component, uh, we got you know within the all shapes object we got the cylinder and we got the donut so so we're gonna create buttons for them okay so so this is the cylinder and then we're gonna create a button for the donut right. donut and if I save that go to the browser. I do a refresh so if I click on box got a box click on cylinder it's got a cylinder okay, I'll put donut there so that's the cylinder that's a box and that's a donut no working okay so so we're not too worried about you know the uh, removing uh, elements from from this uh, so we just want to demonstrate. I just want to demonstrate how to uh, dynamically add shapes. So we do nothing more than that. So I can do a refresh and then add it again. So that's the only way we can uh, we can uh, remove things. Okay. So so that's working. So now we've got all the buttons working, and when you click on them, the appropriate shape uh, appears. Okay. So now now we can sort of clean this up a bit. Uh, uh, as you as you've seen on the on the browser the the size of it is, is a bit sort of a cramped cramped together so you can you can change the if I'm going back to the shape component and under the mesh you can change the scale so I put it to 1.5 change it here 1.5 so make all of them 1.5 because then it'll be proportional so save that then refresh then if I add it it's a little bit more space out okay so now what I can do is I can go back and we can add color to this as well so when you uh, when when you uh, when you choose a box we can give a box a particular color a cylinder uh, a different color and the donut a uh, different color so what we can do is we can create another uh, object call it con say constant and it's gonna, we're going to say all colors Okay, and it's going to equal to an object, literal. Okay, so we're going to have the same sort of box, uh, box, and then we're going to have a cylinder, and then we're going to have a donut. Okay, so we're going to have three colors, and uh, the first color we're going to we're going to say uh, a red. So in very commas and red, I'm going to put a comma there. And then a cylinder would be the pink. I'm going to put a comma there. And, oops. and then and the donut, sweet donut, uh, it's going to be a blue. Okay, so so just create another object, and uh, that that will store all the colors. Uh, and when you uh, when we, we can refer it to by the key that is passed in uh, uh, under the shape uh, props. Okay, so we can we can go to the mesh standard material and we can change the hard coded red and as i've done here i, I, I refer to it as all shapes we're going to say all colors okay and then uh, uh, i reference the, the the key okay so i'm going to say all colors and it will be uh, an array and inside the array i'm going to say props dot shape okay so it's the same way we've structured uh, you know the uh, all shapes so we're going to refer it to the same way so i save that go to the browser okay so refresh okay so 
So it's a red box and it's a sort of a pink a cylinder and a donut. So that's how you can sort of uh, give it individual colors, okay? So that's it for this video. Uh, that's how you add shapes. And now you can sort of extend this and sort of uh, make the code cleaner. And uh, uh, you know when you and you can add remove. So there's going to be a little bit more complex code, but you know this is a starting point of how to dynamically add uh, shapes. So I hope you like this video and join me on the next one.